Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, indeed, we call it a sanctified Saturday, a great day to be alive in the Lord because we know who made the day, who's given us the day, who made us, and we're looking for great things today. same thing that <clears throat> it got a little bit more airplay for bb this morning it's a tremendous message in that song and we got it we got it and we got to report it in the words of that old sitcom what's happening now what's happening now is what happened from the foundation of the world and continues to this point it is jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever he is the ancient of days, but yet he is contemporary. He's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. And uh, it's been, that's why he, it's, he is good news to us. He uh, declares and brings alive to us the great love with which the Father loved us before the foundation of the world, having chosen us in him to be holy and without blame before him in love. That's what it says in Ephesians chapter one. But not only does it uh, does his presence and his coming reveal that to us and ratify and give us that blessed assurance, it also, from the standpoint of an omega, the revelation of Jesus Christ, gives us certainty of our victory, that we win, we triumph. As the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, thanks be unto God who always gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, that says that he always causes us to triumph and makes known the Savior of his knowledge and his love in and through and by us. Well, suited is the uh, series that we're in and we're talking about and just being dressed out in what God has already provided for us in Christ. You know what? We're saying this in different ways, hammering the end this point, and we are going to get to the point where we're going to talk about the weapons and the, uh, the parts of the arm of the Lord that is laid out in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18 also in 1 Thessalonians 5, but we're just making the case that you and I uh, and our suiting and our being dressed out in life is embracing Christ and what God has appointed and chosen us for and appointed us to in him. Listen to, here's a scripture that I mention on the broadcast from time to time, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, uh, uh, a, uh, a great verse that you and I often use those who are Christ followers as our assurance of victory, even in uncertain times. It says this, and we know all things work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Of course, we love him because he first loved us. Loving him is just responding to his love for us. Everything is initiated by him. See, it's so key to understand that, 
that no one put God under duress to make a covenant with his son, to send his son to die for us. It was of his own accord. It was his own thinking because of his great love wherewith we, he loved us before the world began. And it was not just our sin that took Jesus and led him to the cross, but it was God's love for us and his refusal to allow sin to keep us separated from him that caused him to pay the price that we couldn't pray and to come by his own son and take our sins away. Well, it is these thoughts, these rested truths that cause us to begin to walk into the reality of what that means when it says that all things work together for the good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. See, that's a piece of our armor. That's part of the armor, uh, a shield of faith. That's part of the sword of the spirit. I won't come back to that, but verse 29, this is what verse 29 says. It says, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his own son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Man, that 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 is powerful. That's awesome. Because that, that makes me understand a little better the context that he's talking about, how the spirit helps our infirmities in verse 26. We don't know what we should pray for as we all, but he that knows the mind of the spirit makes intercession for us according to the will of God. And then he says, and we know all things work together for the good, them that love him and are called according to his purpose. Why? For those whom he foreknew, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his own son. So our certainty and our confidence is that he has appointed and purposed us to be conformed to all that we see in his son. We see in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 17, as we shared a couple of times this week, it says, as he is, so are we in this world. And this is how we have confidence in the day of crisis, the day of judgment, the day of whatever is confronting us. But as he is, so we are we in this world, because that's what you and I are predestined to. God is not taken back, nor is Jesus with the idea of us being like him, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus. That's all I want is to be like him. That's exactly what you are pointed to. So what do you want me to get out of all of this? I want you today, as you wait and you walk out your day and your weekend, to see that this is what you're predestined to. The same power, the same glory, the same uh, excellence, the same might, and glory of our King Jesus is what you and I are called to. Well, listen, we're going to be continuing to unpack this tomorrow morning, 10, 15 a.m. We're live and in person at the Holiday Inn Express Mid-City at the uh, Mid-City District in the Banquet Hall. We would love to see you there as we continue to dive deeper into these truths. Hey, this has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions of Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond, where Jesus is our joy and the dream of change is yet alive, that together you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this sanctified Saturday morning, B. Well, you know, Pastor Jim, people sit and they listen to you and they, 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 they it's quiet. But when you started uh, the same day in the line, start ringing. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I, 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 that's all I got to tell you. And, 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 except uh, we look forward to talking to you again in the morning on women with another great message with Christ in action. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and your 53 plus years in radio. Keep on doing what you're doing. Lord willing, we'll talk to you in tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, Pastor. All right. Well, listen, hey, uh, we're, we're going deeper and deeper and deeper into this thing. 
uh, when I was growing up, they used to sing a song that said, way back, way back in God. Let's go way, way, way back, way back in God. That's where the power is. That's where the glory is. That's where the strength is. That's where all the promises are. It is, it is in him and seeing ourselves in him, resting in him, empowered in him, like him, knowing that we are predestined to be conformed to the image of our King and Kings and our Lord of Lords, our Savior, Jesus the Christ. But remember this, God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Hey, again, we'd love to see you. We're in person at 1015 a.m. every Sunday morning, in the banquet hall, at the Holiday Inn Express, Mid-City, the new Mid-City District, the site of the old Madison Square Mall. And of course, we're online at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you can be there in person, we'd love to meet you, greet you, love on you, share a little food with you, uh, have refreshments available there, spend some time with you, hear your story, share our story with you, and uh, teach you the Word of God. All right, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.